have a monkey in your pants? Alright then folks, welcome back to another game from Master Fan Commentary. It's been a while, this is series 2, episode 14. I think it is, let's just pretend it's the 90s. You're sitting in the living room, watching the telly on a Thursday evening. You've done your homework, you've eaten your tea, and now it's time to sit down and enjoy some glorious retro games master. Originally aired on Channel 4 in the 1990s here in the UK, hosted by Dominic Diamond and it also had the late great Sir Patrick Moore as the Games Master. There he is, right there. Hello Mr Moore, he's singing with the monks. I nearly forgot. Jeez, oh, it has been a while. What the? What the? Dominic's dressed up as a... I don't, I don't even know what you call that thing. A weird... Parsnip lady. It's New Year's Eve. One night of the year, I can shed my red coat garb and slip into something a bit more feminine. But even out here on the rig, the Panto spirit is alive and obviously. Ah, Panto. That's why he's dressed up as a weirdo. For the first time since VE Day, and return to Mother Nature. You can actually see it up there on the gallery. Can we give her a little bit of a ripple? Can we give her a little bit what of a wave? What on earth does this got to do with the video games? Hey guys, this is um, obviously from very, very old footage, so there may be a bit of a hissing sound in the background, but I'll try to clear it up as much as possible. But here's the first challenge. Welcome to and New Year's Eve on the he's got a hat. I, do hope my I wonder if this was really, really, really... Aired on New Year's Eve. We venture out hmm. into the nether region. Someone will be able to tell me. On to the Earth. The Earth. The mission Onto the Earth. I've set aside is to complete that a game? the game's first level and reach Uranus. Uranus. <laughs> Shoot your zapper. <gasps> a black hole what? Shoot your zapper. What? What game is this on? What game? What game is this on? What system is this game played on? Is Our what I'm trying to say. We'll find out in a second. But he's been buffing up his helmet for weeks oh my god, I can see Dominic's legs. Welcome, David Finch. At least he's wearing shorts, thankfully. Well, let's see what David Finch is wearing. Probably an oversized jumper. Told ya. White trainers. At least the jumper's not tucked no, in his jeans. David, That's a bonus. Young man from the way you leap down those With his epic How 90s his central well parting of the hair. Well, it's pretty tough, I also sported that one day. And I'll get to Uranus. Okay, David, you take a seat, get He's gonna get to Uranus. Is he? Oh, what's that say on the back of his jumper? I don't know. What the hell has he got on his face? Is this what is this contraption? Squeeze some more awful double entendres out of this subject. Is my own Prince Charming, Jeremy Doddy from Game Zone. Hello, Welcome Jeremy from Game Zone. I'm a frog. Thank you very much indeed. Now listen, Jeremy. Any tips for our young competitor here? Well, he's gonna bang hey. his helmet as quickly as possible. How like life, eh, Dominic? <laughs> How did they ever get away with this stuff? Like this is obviously okay. on. Okay, so Nez, David I think. To get to Uranus, funnily enough. David, are you ready? <laughs> you never noticed these yep. funny things when you were a child. You yeah, it is the Nez. So off goes David on his way to Uranus. I remember that thing. Can't remember what it's called. Is it just shouting bang? It seems really even energy. aiming at that screen. Bang, 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 bang. He's banging his way to Uranus. Would you know I've been supposed to be saying shoot or fire. That's a smart bomb he's just dead. Not, there, not bang. Some of his energy back and also wipes out anything that's on the screen. Anybody okay, own this contraption out there in the world of the interwebs? Please enlighten me as to what the name of it is, because I'm too lazy to use Google this evening. The stiffer the better, the straight of the better. You must look after your helmet at all costs. It's going to have to start wiping out some of these. Now I think we're going to see the mothership appear in very soon here. Any second now. Let's hopefully he's going to have enough energy. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. Bang bang. Bang! No, he didn't bang enough, or hard enough, or long enough, or fast enough. I could keep going. That was the end of the first challenge, and he failed, so he did not procure the Golden Games Master joystick. As always, if someone has one out there, let me know. I'll give you an address, and you can send it to me for free. You're having some problems with a helmet there. Having some problems? Yeah, the just won't come off. Get to Uranus, I'm sorry. Uh, how old is no that child to be the making these jokes? <laughs> Um, did you enjoy having a little play with it anyway? Yeah, it's good fun. Good game. Right, so Rubbish game. Rubbish fun. David the Finch. child is lying. He's been paid to say, say such filth from his filth face hole. Well, all that 
talk about big bangs has made me feel quite vulnerable. So while I adjust my bloomers, let's take a look at this week's review. Who reviews these? Love the review section. This is before the interwebs. So this is where I used to sit down on a Thursday evening and see all the glorious new Super Nintendo and Amiga games for my face. Last week we had What's a look at this? choppers, this week we stay in the Airplanes. Air flight sims. First up, rub your shiny helmets in your Rub your shiny planes. helmets. Tornado is an extremely sophisticated PC game. flight sim, but that's not surprising considering the plane is very, very up to date. Okay. Forever into the game, there is an element of strategy. You have to decide what is your that, own goals is, are. Is that person alive? Is Pete even alive? He does not seem I think thrilled. This adds to a flight sim. You'll probably find it quite difficult to get to grips with this unless you're really willing to persevere. Hello, Scotsman. But for hardened flight sim addicts, then this is a real winner. Oh my god, has everybody like just been woken up out of bed? They seem completely unenthusiastic. Oh, it is also on the Amiga and the ST. Early Next 1993. Up, Harrier Jump Jet. The first thing that strikes you about the Harrier are the graphics. They are so smooth and slick, they could give Dominic Diamond's hair a run for its money. Ooh. <laughs> varying levels, from Wookiee to Ice. If you haven't had much experience with flight simulators, this will ease you in. I would say that Harrier is the best flight sim available yet, Ooh. which deals with amphibious aviation. Oh. For mm. me, it's a winner. Is it on the Mega as well? I seem to remember seeing this. No, only on the PC, I am talking filth. Forty-four ninety-nine. Finally, take on Probably six thousand pounds in today's money. The, the sound and graphics are nothing to write home about, but this is more than outweighed by the fact that everyone you encounter in the game is a real live person. A game again. I've never played. I never really had a PC back then. I only really got into PCs. Mm. A little bit after Command and Conquer. Fly and fight as real fighter pilots do, backing each other up. Otherwise, somebody's on your tail and your history. Your history. Flight Sims. 91%. It was on the Amiga as well. There you go. I do not and recall finally, seeing that ever. Oh, club. everybody send stuff to the Games Master Club and you'll be told how to join after the show, apparently. That was hmm. yet another brilliant batch of review games. Oh, no, it wasn't. Oh, yes, it, yes was. it was. No, it wasn't. While we milk some more mileage out of <laughs> panto gags, let's find out what this week's celebrity challenge is. Who is a celebrity, Welcome more importantly? Back. My second offering for the evening is an athletic encounter on Quest for Gold. Quest for Gold? The particular event I have selected... Oh my god, that person, digitised person, was running super speedy there. Each to record the fastest possible time. Is this, this, the is this like an arcade game? We wanted a couple of nippy celebrities for this challenge, and we've got two of I've the never fastest men. I would say no to be in an arcade game. I do not see an arcade Colin cabinet Jackson anywhere. And Olympic golden boy Linford Christie. Linford, the package Christie versus Colin. Smaller package Jackson. Or something. Ignore me. Too much coffee. Too much coffee. At least we know somebody's going to win well, a golden joystick now. You in the Olympics, guys. Did you relax by because somebody has games? to win this. We did actually. They had a big actual video, like little studio, where you could go in and play a lot of uh, little sporting games. And what, what were you He's lying. Games <laughs> I'm a Pac-Man fan. Pac <laughs> I'm into the Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man. This is not 1979 or 80 something. Colin, we're doing the 100 meter sprint. You're still the Welsh record holder. Liver Christie is yeah, still living in the past. Stands at 10:29, but uh, we'll be looking. Or he was still rocking his Atari 2600 in the Olympic. Village. Who knows? Easy for you to beat or difficult? Uh, yeah, I mean, I ran 29.10. So <laughs> 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 I'm going to stop cutting that today, believe me. In addition to you, Tim, I'm afraid we've got some last minute news. One of you, last minute news. one of your great rivals, has been flown especially over here. I think it's the first time you've met him since you won the Olympic what? gold. Please welcome Carl Lewis. Why is Carl Lewis here? Is he telling the truth? Is he telling the truth? No. Maybe. I know you know these gentlemen already. I'm confused. <laughs> I thought no, he was a real runner. runner. Since he won the Olympic gold, Linford has been telling anyone who listened that he's the greatest hundred meters runner in the world. What have you got to say to that? He's not. Right. <laughs> Before we carry on, my mother is a massive athletics fan, big fan of all three. Years. Could you give her a quick wave in the camera three there? That's to Paula. All right, Thank excellent. You. Advertisement break and here we are back in the room singing with the monks. Hey. I was a bit late, but yeah, yeah, you get the idea. Sing now, children. 
No. Yes. No. Helping me out it's all confusing. Coaches, Stephen Apostate. Welcome, Stephen. Thank you, Dominic. Now, any tips for our three spinners tonight? Well, uh, without wishing to be rude, it's all in the wrist. And uh, they've got to go from left to right on the joystick without catching the diagonals. If they catch the diagonals, they're going to be in trouble. Ooh. Okay. So what happens if you catch the diagonal? One go at the 100 meters at the fastest Apart from time they don't wins the challenge. Obviously, move because it's Carl not left Lewis or right. Going first. Are you ready, Carl? Oh, Dominic got paid a lot of money. Of luck. Oh, my God. It's... Go. I've got one of those joysticks. Okay, what the hell is this on? And he's off. Carl's at the bottom of the screen. I would love to know. It's obviously. I have got one of those joysticks. Is it an Amiga? I have not played this game before. I am curious. Do you know what system this is on, ladies and gentlemen? Please put it in the comments below because I am genuinely curious. I don't know that wasn't a word, but you get the idea. It's very slow. I hate these joystick waggling games. I used to remember playing them so much back in the day. I'm sure it caused the death of many joysticks. Oh, 4, 15, 15 the time said. Okay, let's see if Colin Jackson can beat it. Colin, are you ready? Come on, Colin. We... Then off oh, you he's not even holding it very well. Come on, Colin. Get set. Where go? Here goes Colin. Oh my he's god, he's off. That just looks at the facial expression on him there. Look at him go, that's his sex face. That's just so wrong. <laughs> I think Limford Christie's gonna rip it off. He just, oh my god, he unnaturally just burst past everybody. And he's off. Left everybody trailing in his wake. Didn't tire at all. Lovely fluid steps. Looking yeah. relaxed. What was the time there? Twelve seconds. It's hard to see on this retro video. I don't know if Lenford's going to beat that. Yes, I am. The best of luck. With the size of his giant hand there, he should be able to wiggle at great speed. Go, Lenford. Oh my God! What happened there? Was he pressing up and down? Oh my God! He's he's off though. He's off. He's off. I don't think he's going to do it. No. No. Ooh, considering the slow start he got. That was actually quite impressive. I'm hoping he at least gave the golden joystick to the child. Because that would be cruel otherwise. I wish I was that child receiving the golden joystick. Not fair. Now, Carl, you said you were going to whip these guys. Tell me what went wrong. Carl was lying. Hand slipped. His <laughs> hand slipped. Oh, hand slipped. <laughs> Two words. That's it. It's sulking. Right, now let's go into Linford. Silver medal tonight there. I know you're not famed for your starts. That was what held you back tonight. Well, definitely, you know, I was just... That was, that was actually I ridiculously close considering how bad a start Linford had. Me. I him test it. I that was quite an impressive, I would say. <laughs> test on you later, Colin. <laughs> well, I use the same joystick as everybody else. Just the skill and the speed. <laughs> you do know that um, you have won a special prize tonight. I hope it makes up for the Olympic, oh, obviously it's a much bigger prize than the Olympic medal. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Let's have a look. Well, <laughs> have a look indeed, Give me the joystick, you feck. <clears throat> That's all I'm saying on that matter. Look at this, Colin. Much I never ever see these come up on um, eBay or anything like that. I wonder if somebody's just chucked them out stupidly thinking it was just a load of toss because I would die for one. No, I wouldn't. I would kill for one. No, I would. No, I wouldn't. Sorry. If Chris is listening, watching, no, I wouldn't. I'd sell my child for one. While Auntie Marisha gives Maybe. Our sweaty challenges Maybe. a more than hearty rub down, we'll go over to this week's consultation. Consultation zone. zone, hints, tips, cheats section. Nothing usually terribly awkward in or here. It's usually I can't find start button. Can you help me? Nonsense like that. With <laughs> old VR helmet. Kajunk! Slap that on your face. Hello, young Hello, guess. Games Master. Got a problem. Yes, I have. I've heard there's a hidden room on the Adams family Ooh. with loads of extra lives. Which version of the Adams family you did not you stipulate is, this please. child? Come on. As I'm feeling particularly magnanimous, magnanimous. When you enter the hall, instead of entering any of the visible doors, oh, that Adams the family, the first one. Standing directly below the door, then press up to enter a secret room. 
it's still not stipulated what version of game this is on, what system it's being played on, or is this available on everyone? Possibly. Okay, Gomez, go. Thanks a lot. That's great. Thanks a lot. That's great. In the happiest voice that he had ever. Next. Uh, what? A Dalek. What are you doing up here? A Dalek. Dalek attack. I've never. Oh my God! His voice is irritating my ears. Impudent scamp. Run through the River Thames and climb to the top of the building. Yeah, uh, there's probably a reason I've end. never heard of this game when ever, ever, top, ever. Leap as far to the right as you can. It's that got nice music though. Miraculously appear underneath you. If you I want to play this. Seven more steps to the right and jump. I want to know what it was on. Keep How is anybody ever, right ever supposed to figure out? Across to catch like extra lives and bonuses. really. This will triple the power of your sonic screwdriver. Triple the power of the sonic screwdriver, if I can even speak. Wow. Never heard of that game. My pleasure, young man. Send my regards for your I just like the music, to be honest with you. Last for the evening. One more. Hello, Games Master. On the fall of the Foot Clan, I'm a Game Boy. I'll keep dying. Oh. Is there a way to restore my energy? I played this game, I think. Well, actually, there is. Pause the yes, game, I did. Then press the following. I played up, it like crazy. Up, down, down, left, right, Ooh. left, right, A -B. B, then A. Oh, I'll go the wrong way around. Your energy should now be fully restored. I played this game like to death on the Game Boy originally. Thanks a lot. When I were a boy. That's enough from Tater Tates for one second. It's a good game. Bye for now. Three more perplexed punters can Last, um, to 93 with challenge, I think, is coming up now. Now, before we run out of time here, let's go over to Games Master for the final challenge. See what it is. Back so soon. Hope Dominic's getting paid a lot of money for Who's wearing so that weird get up. That's all I'm going to say. Before the evening festivities, I've opted for a head to head bout of fisticuffs on Streets of Rage 2. Ooh, nice. The object is to inflict terminal damage. Not being a Mega Drive lover or a big Mega Drive fan. I can at least say that I did play this game back in the day. Tend to pay the greatest dividends. So lots of below the belt action, please. Seconds out. And I didn't re listen to the instructions of the challenge. Did you? Please tell me it below in the comments. Please tell me below in the comments. Champion German Wunderkind Reza Abdul Ali. What? And he'll be taking on British Sega champion Carl Roberts. Was that a real name, Dominic, or are you just being racist and made some wonky stuff up for comedy effect? Because that name was very long. Let's see if he speaks German. He's German Elvis. Alright Razor, thank you very much indeed for coming over tonight. What's what's the most popular games in Germany just now? For me it's uh, sports games. Yes, I German. Like sports games very much and I um, play this time um, hockey. NHL PA hockey. Hockey? Yes. Cork and game. Well, Is hockey a big thing in Germany? Or was it a big thing in Germany? Europe. You recently hmm. just pipped this young man, Carl Roberts, the British Sega champion. All right. Carl, was it a close match last time you met? Well, it was, it was only between two or three points he beat me by, so... So, should we, maybe we'll see so that's quite here, close. We? Maybe, both of us, you know, haven't played this game and it could go anyway. I okay, think he's Welsh. To be honest All with right, you, I can't even understand what he's saying. On the left, make room for my People have the same problem with me, so it's okay. German boy's got epic, epic sense of clothes dressing this. Not as epic as Dominic, and mind as you. Mm. I'd love to see Dominic trying to go for a piss in that. From the games or even a shit. Here to help me. Welcome, Jim. <laughs> Hello, Dominic. Now, Jim, Hello, Jim. Axel and Blaze doing battle tonight. What can we expect to see from them? I think it's going to be quite an even fight. Blaze has got Is it like a one on one? But Axel's quite a lot stronger. See, this okay, shows you how much like of a non Mega Drive buff I really am. And Carl. What they got to do is the best of three bouts. It is one on one. Wins the it's like Street Fighter, but Streets of Rage. Sort of. Then come out fighting. I can't the remember ever playing this game like this. Maybe I didn't have any friends. I don't know, but I've definitely played the game. Ooh, that was a nice weird backwards flying kick. So, British guy is the guy, I think. And I think the German is the girl. I may be wrong. 
Axel's getting his flaming fist in there. Which means Blaze's energy, we can see, is now. Really needs to come back. And Sayonara Blaze. Now, how can she come back from this? She's being a bit more tenacious now. Yeah, she is. Ooh, she really nice. She's just losing it now. She really needs to get some of those special moves going. Oh my god, Axel's energy has just dropped millions there because of the grenade. Now Blaze really stands Ooh, that was, that was nicely done. It's going to be quite close. It's going to be. Oh my god, what the hell? I was going to say that just. I thought he was just going to walk right into the grenade. Ooh, nice. Come on, punch. Ooh, player one wins. Which means that Axel wins the first one, so it's 1 0 to Razor. Oh no! I got it wrong. The German is Axel, and the British guy is Blaze. Germans are winning. Oh no! I think. Uh, Ooh, that was all right there. This might be a quite close fight, actually. Blaze is kicking ass all of a sudden. Oh! You can't do that to a woman. <laughs> Maybe you can in Germany. Who knows? That's it, that's it, that's it. 1 0. Nicely done. Nicely done. So here we go for the final bout. They're both going for the weapons. Blaze, oh, they've both got them. Can you throw oh, the weapons? Yes. Oh, come on. Can you still grab a hold of the person when you've got a weapon? That's a quick. Oh my god, come on. No, no. Ooh, how did he get with that? He's just spanking the button. Oh my god, German boy won. German. Elvis kicked arse. Really, is Abd like mm, my name's not the best, but is Abdulali a German name? I don't think so. I'm not saying it's not his name. Well, it just doesn't sound very German. Masterful display there. What was the difference between you? What was the secret of your success? Oh, I don't know. It's, there's, there's no secret. Every time you must have much luck, and I think now I have the luck, and next time maybe Carl will have Oh, well, come on, be a bit of a better is, winner than that. Just rub it, rub it in his face. See? Look at them. Absolute corkers, ladies and gentlemen. German Elvis. Okay, well, Reza, <laughs> as a result of your victory, you go home with the only European currency that never loses interest. The Golden Games Master Joyce. I want one. Back to serious mode. I want one. I want one of those golden, magically painted, plated, whatever it is, sticks in a perspex box on my shelf. Well done, Reza Abdalali, or whatever your name was. You win. You kicked arse, actually. Dominic, what the hell are you wearing? One cherry brandy miniature too many, so there's nothing on the menu tonight. And the scuba person's even got a funky little hat on. What's all that about? We're about to have a swinging party here to see out 92. So 1992. Jeez, oh, how it make you feel old? Very happy New Year, and we'll see you in 93. See you in 1993, Dominic. And Games Master. There you go then guys, that was Games Master Fan Commentary Series 2 Episode 14 Retro Tele Goodness for your little eye holes. Hope that little eye holes took that information to your brain and you enjoyed it. The Games Master and this is, is how you join the club. Viewers. It costs £11.15 for a year's membership. To find out more about what you can get, either send a large stamped address envelope to the Games Master Club, PO Box 91, London E4. Somebody do it. GT. I'd love to know where it ends up nowadays. Who knows? As always from you guys, thank you much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. You must have permission from whoever pays the Dominic, stop talking, I was talking. Sing with the monks, banshees. Ah! Oh, is that the monks? I can't remember. Eee, branches. Christ, that's high. Goodbye. Do you have a monkey in your pants?